Public Schools, the Director of Food Service, Brant Russell. Hey, Brant. Hi. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. Has, yeah, it's only been two or three weeks since we yeah. were here. Well, you know, uh, I've been telling people that um, you're busier in the summer than you are during the school year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it is true. Isn't it that is. crazy? So um, even today, uh, you're at the middle school at Parkside with a special guest. Yes, we had a visiting chef today. Uh, chef Danny came in. He's our new uh, corporate chef in this area, mm -hmm. and he wanted to try out some, a, a couple new recipes that he had, and he brought some chicken shawarma uh, mm -hmm. and homemade whole grain pitas that he made himself, and uh, some, I cannot say it the way he says it, but falafel, he says it, it's one syllable when he says it. <laughs> <laughs> but there in the pita, you'll see the chicken shawarma, uh, and then on the right, we had a rice bowl with the uh, falafel. What are the kids uh, think about because uh, that young man has a little bit of a skeptic face on him <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he chose it he, he uh, we had uh, these two choices and then we also had burgers and another choice so uh, there you see the falafel on the right and there's the chicken shawarma I can't say it either falafel, I, falafel yeah but that's not the way he says it it's it's like one syllable when he says it um, but the kids were very receptive uh, I'd say 75 to 80 percent of the kids chose these two entrees as opposed to the the uh, the other two we had. Hmm. Awesome. So yeah, it was a well, good turnout for them. Chef Tony must be uh, complimented when uh, the kids are choosing one. Well, this is Chef Danny. Oh, Chef Danny. I'm, that's yes. right, Chef Danny. This He's is He's got to be uh, thrilled when they're choosing this. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he was excited about it. He's, he'll, he's coming back in June, uh, the end of June, for the high school. Since we were doing, no, sorry, the end of July. Yeah, summer's yeah. flying by. June is already, the end of June is already here. Yeah, that's he'll the end be of here, June. He'll be back after summer school starts at Jackson High well, to do the same, same event for the high school kids. What a treat for the kids. It's really above and beyond. You could just... You know, dish up the same thing all week, all summer, but to go out, out on the limb and do these kinds of things, yeah, pretty it's cool. Yeah, it's a nice little monotony breaker because they're stuck at summer school and they don't want to be there. And we do have outside kids, you know, mm -hmm. students that come in as well. So it's, it's a nice relief from the same old school food. All right, that was Chef Danny, but we did have Chef Tony here earlier. You yes, hosted it's him. been a busy chef a couple months. Uh, Chef Tony was here and did another Mediterranean, Mediterranean deal right here. There's Chef Tony. He came and did a uh, Mediterranean uh, kind of stir fry for kids. And then the next week uh, was Chef John. Look at the line of hungry students about to be surprised. Uh, Chef Danny was there taking uh, some, getting some input on how to do his specials upcoming. So that was the... Uh, the Mediterranean stir fry that he did for the kids. Kind of like a take on a Mongolian grill. The kids get to and they try they something new that's eat it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that, you know, there's a little show to it, um, but, you know, something that the kids can, we can do for the kids even mm -hmm. on, our, even on our, our own without having a visiting chef come in. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. My phone just started ringing. <laughs> Uh, I silenced mine, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not calling me, are you? No, I'm no. not. <laughs> the summer being busy, it's nonstop uh, because besides summer school, you are feeding kids uh, uh, at the meetup in Eda. Yes, all over town. Yes, we have, we have right around 30 sites this summer. Um, some are one week, one week sites, some uh, the backpack event that's downtown here at the end of July. We help with that, uh, bring food for that, for the church to, to well, actually, it's at the, at the uh, fairgrounds this year. Hmm. They moved it over there. Um, so, yes, we are out and about. We have the bus that runs around. Um, we started out at Bloomfield Park, and that was not a big mover for us, so we went back to Griswold, where the old Griswold, Griswold School is, so we moved back there. And uh, we go from there to Blair Park, to Chalet Apartments, to Southridge Apartments, and then we finish up at the Rotary Playground over on the east side of town. The Chow Bus. The Chow Watch Bus. for it coming every day at the same time at those locations. Yes, and don't miss your chance. This is its final year on the road. 
Really? Yes. We're getting rid of all diesel, m well, most diesel buses mm. going to electric. So I got to find a new venue next year. So we're looking at a few different options <laughs> between a food truck and a golf cart. And I'm, I'm not sure. Something what new. Gonna, yeah, something yeah. new. Whatever it is, you're going to find a way to get to the kids and uh, feed them. Yes, because we, we, the certain kids can't get around town. Yeah. They can't get to spots, so we need to be where they are. They get breakfast, lunch, and in some cases, dinner. Correct. Yes, not all sites have breakfast, but um, we have a good 10 or 12 sites that do. Um, the King Center, the Hub, uh, all our school sites all have breakfast. Now, summer really started just last week. It is just the beginning of summer. Yes, and it came in with a vengeance last it week. Did. It did. <laughs> you want summer? Here it is. <laughs> but you're kicking off summer with a uh, barbecue. Tell us about that. Yes, so uh, this is our annual barbecue. Um, we were going to do it tomorrow, but we are moving to Thursday because of the weather um, being not a good outlook for us. So we want to be sure that, um, you know, we don't have any raindrops falling on us. So we're going to have hot dogs, baked beans, chips, uh, watermelon, milk and some fruit slushies for kids and uh, adults if they want to participate with their kids um, it's available to them for three dollars we'll also have some games um, for the little ones to play like a pick a duck kind of thing and um, they get a prize a ring toss for some of the older kids to get a prize and then there's all kinds of other things that they could pick from that we have to give away and then we will have some uh, community partners that will be there. The health department will be there. Um, Center for Family Health will be there. Several other booths that, you know, they can just kind of walk around and, and get some information about kids in summer. Yeah, a lot of locations uh, that you have to deliver to or drive to uh, all summer long. How many total do you know? We have 32 this summer. Wow, that's unbelievable. It is, yeah. It's, it's really grown in the last 10, 15 years. Um, so yeah, we're we're proud of it. Yes, you should be. It's yep. yeah, it's it's awesome. Besides um, what Chef Tony and Chef Danny and the guys from Taher are making, what what typically are the lunches uh, like throughout the summer? Well, we have uh, some sites are only cold just because of you know the park sites and those kinds of sites that don't have any way to hold food hot. Uh, so those sites are on a three week rotation with sandwiches and salads and. Uh, kind of grab and goy kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, any time, well, not any timers. What are they called? Uh, lunchables. Those kinds of things that mm -hmm. we we make. Um, so kids do like those. And then at the sites that we're able to do hot food, it's it's a lot of summer. It's a lot of school fair food. I don't mean fair food. School <laughs> food <laughs> fair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're doing hamburgers, and we, but we still do our pot items that we call it. So we have spaghetti, and we have tacos, and we have um, uh, some other things that we're, you know, we're cooking from scratch for kids. So uh, it's good, hearty, wholesome food that can fill up their stomachs for the summer. Awesome, and I know a great opportunity for your team to uh, showcase their culinary skill, and they do an awesome job. All right, once more, a reminder, the Summer Kickoff Barbecue has been moved to Thursday at Loomis Park. Loomis Park, yep. yep. And they can get, anybody can get more information at our website at www.jpsk12.org. Awesome. Thanks so much, Brant. All right, thanks for having me. Appreciate you it. You bet. Thanks for taking care of our kids all summer long. JPS Food Service Director, Brant Russell.